hopefully some of us remember our uh, equation of lines from last year. We have two different forms, slope-intercept form, which is the more common one. I'm sure a lot of you remember the slope-intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. And then we also have point-slope form. Y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And depending on what we're given uh, in a problem or in a situation, we might use one or the other. For the most part, we use slope-intercept form the most. Uh, it's the most common. It looks the neatest. Uh, it's easy to graph, all kinds of things like that. And if I think about it, the x and the y in the slope-intercept form just stand for any point on my graph, any x, y point on my graph. The m, if we remember, stands for slope. We've already covered that so far. And the b stands for, well, it's slope-intercept form, so b must be intercept. And it's the y-intercept. Hence the name slope-intercept form, because it contains the slope and the y-intercept. Point-slope form, kind of similar. You still got the slope, right? You got m, that's the slope. But then that x1 and y1, that's just some point on your graph. x1, y1. That's just some point on your graph. You just plug it in. Uh, a lot of times you can put a put something in point slope form and get it into slope intercept form. Lots of different things we can do. Um, let's just see what they ask us here. So first thing, write an equation of the line through each pair of points in slope intercept form. So if it just says write an equation of a line, I can use either form. It does not matter. But it tells me specifically to use slope intercept form. So I want to write an equation with y equals mx plus b. Well, I have two points. So what do I really need to find to write it in this form? I need to find the slope, and I need to find the y-intercept, don't I? Well, what did we do the other day? We found slope given two points, didn't we? Remember, slope is uh, to rise over run. So subtract your y's on top. Subtract your x's on bottom. So in this case, we take 10 minus 4 on top. Subtract my y's. Then 8 minus negative 2 on bottom. And we end up with 6. That's minus a negative is really adding a positive. 6 over 10, which simplifies into 3 fifths. So I'm going to plug that into my equation. So y equals 3 fifths x plus b. Well, let's look back. I need to find the y-intercept somehow. Well, I can't just find it just by looking at my points. But these points are on my line, aren't they? So really, couldn't I take one of these points and plug it into that equation and solve for b? Because isn't 8 the x value and 10 the, the y? So I can just plug those in. So I'm going to plug in 10 for y. So I'm plugging in this point equals 3 fifths times 8 plus b. And then let's go through and solve. So 3 fifths times 5, it's really 8 over 1. So 24 over 5 plus b. And we want to get the b by itself. So I'm going to subtract 24 over 5, or that's really what? 4 and 4 fifths. So I'm minusing 4 and 4 fifths from both sides. And b is going to equal 5 and 1 fifth after I subtract. So i got to plug that in as well, don't I? Plug that in for b. So I'm going to use this equation that I already have. So y equals 3 fifths x plus 5 and 1 fifth. Or I could say, you know, 5.2, something like that. So there's my equation in the line. Remember, every equation that I write, I should always have an x and a y in the end. So I need to plug in for slope, and I need to plug in for y-intercept. So there's one way to do that right there. So y equals 3 fifths x plus 5 and a half. Well, it might ask me to do it in point-slope form. So right here, write an equation in point-slope form on the line with a slope of negative 3 fifths that contains negative 10, 8. Well, this makes sense. Why would I write it in point-slope form? Well, it gave me a point, didn't it? And it gave me a slope. So that would make sense to write it in point-slope form. So my point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we just plug in. So I'm going to plug in. Negative 10 would be my x1, and 8 would be my y1, right? The x value and the y value. So y minus 
8 equals, well, slope is negative 3 fifths times x minus, minus negative 10, which is really what? Minus a negative is really adding a positive, so that's really plus 10. Switch that, x plus 10. And we're done. It just says right in point slope form, so I'm done. I'm done. If I was going to graph this, I would probably get it into slope intercept form. I would end up distributing my negative 3 fifths and then adding my 8 over on both sides. Okay, but it doesn't ask us to graph or do anything like that, so we're not going to get it in slope intercept form. We're just going to leave it in point slope form, and that's all it's asking me to do. Lastly, it tells me to write an equation in slope intercept form for a line perpendicular to the line y equals 1 fifth x plus 2 through 2 zero. Boy, that's a lot of words. It's a lot of words, isn't it? Well, let's think about this. So it says write an equation in slope intercept form. So I'm going to write an equation in slope intercept form that's perpendicular to this line. It's perpendicular to that line. And it also goes through this point. It also goes through that point. So what do we know about some things here? What do I know about perpendicular lines? Don't they have slopes that are opposite reciprocals? Opposite reciprocals? So this line that I'm going to write in slope intercept form, it has a slope that's the opposite reciprocal of this slope, isn't it? So I already know that part of it. So I can put my slope in the opposite, so positive becomes a negative. Reciprocal, I flip it, so it's 5 over 1 instead. Well, I don't write negative 5. I'm just going to write that as negative 5. So negative 5. Well, do I put plus 2 here? Do they have the same y-intercept? Is there anywhere in there that says they have the same y-intercept? No. I don't put plus 2. It doesn't say it has the y, same y-intercept. So I don't know what the y-intercept is here yet. So don't put plus 2. That's a common mistake I see. Don't put plus 2. We don't know what it is yet. So we still say it's b. Well, could I find it? It gave me a point for a reason. It says my new line that I'm making goes through this point, 2, 0. Can't I plug that in to my equation now? Plug in 2 for x and 0 for y. Let's go ahead and do that. Plug in 0 for y equals negative 5 times 2 plus b. And now let's go ahead and solve for the y-intercept, for the b. Well, we got negative 10 plus b. Add 10 to both sides. So b equals 10. Whoops, not 10 equals 10. b equals 10. And now let's plug that in. Now I know the y-intercept is 10, right? So I can go ahead and plug that in for b up here. So y equals negative 5x plus 10. So there's my equation. So I just wrote an equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line, y equals 1 fifth x plus 2. And it goes through the point 2, 0, because I plugged it in and, and found it. So think about what you know about lines that are perpendicular, right? The slopes, opposite reciprocals. And go ahead um, and find that y-intercept with the other part that's given that point. All right, just a few problems. Good luck to you.